The process is very precise and can be used to analyze very small quantities. It is, however, complicated to set up and all samples must be injected into the mobile phase, the inert carrier gas, as a vapor before they enter the column. Inert gas is under pressure, forcing it through the column. To ensure the sample stays vaporized, the column is coiled inside an oven to keep the sample boiling. This ensures it's the affinity for each phase, and not simply the physical state of the substances, that determine how long it will take them to move through the column. By changing the length of the column, the density of solid in the column, and the pressure of the carrier gas, the retention time of a sample can be altered. Sometimes a mass spectrometer is connected to the output of a gas liquid chromatography setup. And this means each substance in a mixture can be sent through the mass spectrometer to find out their relative molecular mass. This is referred to as gas chromatography mass spectrometry, or GCMS.